We have been at Tapu Amu for three days now and uh, we're just looking for a little change of scenery. So we're going down to the bay a little bit south from us to tie up to a mooring ball that belongs to our tour guide because tomorrow we're going to do an island tour. We say farewell to Tapu Amu and head south along the shores of Taha. Our destination is Hurapiti Bay, where we're going to tie up to Vanilla Tours Mooring Ball for our land tour. A couple more days here to explore the island before we leave the lagoon and head west. I don't know if this is a good decision or not. Windy in this cove, but hopefully, when we get down in the bottom, uh, the wind dies down a little bit. Super windy, windy and wavy. All right, we are here, tied up to a mooring ball after tying up to the wrong mooring ball over there. But it's actually a really, really pretty cove. our home for uh, another day as we go for our tour. Master and Commander has the chariot ready. Where are we going sweetie? We're gonna go to Taha and take a tour of the vanilla production on the island. Cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Wax on, wax, wax off. off. It is very, very wet out here. How's our outboard doing? I don't know. It's running. It's getting us there. We only have one gear though, right? Slow mo? I got medium mo. I think I gotta get either the fuel filter changed or something. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Hello, Rhonda. Huh? Welcome. Thank you. Noah. 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 Oh, nice Noah. to meet you. Oh, Noah. Noah. Noah, like the Bible. Noah. Okay. Noah, you were right. I was right. It was <laughs> Noah. Hi, buddy. Thank you. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, yes. no problem. Very, you have a very nice bag. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, they bought this land in 1985. Uh, so this was all the jungle, huh? so little by little, they started to plant and, uh, wow. yeah. and to build. <laughs> And so all the plants you will see in the garden almost, huh, they all planted them. Huh? Even this one. Ficus That's a Benjamina. Wow. Exactly wow. the same you have in the apartment, in the office, you know, they stay this high. Huh? Never had an office that big. Wow. <laughs> this is what happens uh, when you give it uh, enough rain, enough uh, yeah. sun. I was one year old uh, when we planted it. So I used to be taller than the tree. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So it's uh, 30, uh, 35 years old. <laughs> Say hello to Noah, our guide for the day. As you heard, his parents moved here 35 years ago and have been growing vanilla and fruit trees here on the island. Our tour starts around the main house as he showed us some of the natural vegetation on the island. Then we head up to the vanilla plantation, nestled on a hillside and protected by the island's jungle. Taha'a produces 80% of Tahitian vanilla, and as you explore the island, you will see the vanilla plantations along the main roads, as well as tucked into the natural vegetation of the island. Noah walks us through how the plants are manually pollinated, as the bees that pollinate the plants naturally are not endemic to the South Pacific. 
I would grab the flower with my left hand. With my right hand, I'm gonna pull here on this little part. So I pull this down. Huh? Behind, we're gonna discover a couple of things. You see, this is the pistil. Huh? And we can see like a square flap here and like a little yellow ball. Huh? With my thumb here, I'm gonna lift this part. And behind, we discover two things. On top, the pollen, that's the male part of the flower. And here, this little pocket is the female part of the flower, the stigmat. Huh? So you can see that they're separated with, by this flap, huh? they cannot join. So with the stick, we're gonna grab the pollen, huh? directly on the stick, huh? and, uh, and we're gonna put it uh, simply uh, in the little pocket. Tac. We close the flap back and it's done. The, the flower has been over. pollinated. Yeah. This is an inflorescence. Huh? This is the flower from today. Mm -hmm. This is the one for tomorrow. So that's what I was looking for yesterday when I came. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be in two days. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh? You have 10 to 15 flowers that open one by one. I see, so each one's okay. And each one of those flowers makes a pot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look here, there was a flower, but it was not pollinated here too. Huh? Yeah. There was one here, but it was not pollinated. But I can see that this one was done two days ago. This one, three days ago. Five days ago, this one. You can see how long that thing is. <coughs> yeah, you can see it's the stem of the flower that becomes the vanilla bean. Now that we have seen the vanilla plantation, we head to the east side of the island, through the small villages, and to the main road which runs along the shoreline. Our next stops are to visit coconut or copra production along the coast. And, uh, then it's dry for about one week like this in the sun. Huh? Then they're going to bag it and going to send it to Tahiri, to the oil factory, where like, uh, they press it to make copra oil. Copra. Now we don't say any more uh, coconut oil, we say more copra oil for this kind of oil, you know, because it's a more like industrial, uh, uh, more uh, industrial process. And then they cold press it and uh, the oil that comes out is completely different. Huh? Uh. This is a cosmetic oil. Huh? It's good for the hair, it's good for the skin, but it's not uh, good to, to eat. Like Bacardi, Havana Club, Myers, Captain Morgan, Diplomatico. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, they're made from molasses. So molasses, they're like the leftover from the sugar factory. Huh? The part that don't crystallize and all. They reuse that to make uh, make rum. They add the taste and often they add some sugar back also to make it easier to drink and all. So it's a bit modified. Huh? But agricole rum you're not allowed to add anything back, you know, only water. Huh? You, you press the sugar cane, you make the you distill, uh, you ferment the, the sugar cane juice, you distill that juice and then you get uh, alcohol uh, and you bring it down a little bit and that's it. But it's quite strong uh, mm -hmm. and it's not, there's nothing made to make it easy to drink. After Noah gives us a quick rum 101, we head to the Panny Panny Distillery for our last stop. this rum started in 2005 and finally after finding the sustainable sugar cane for the island in 2016 Pani Pani started to distill rum. Today they have won awards worldwide for their agricultural style rum and as Noah stated it is definitely an acquired taste. Well I'm gonna say salut first because that's what I'm used to but what's the lucky duck? Lucky duck. Lucky duck. Lucky duck. Lucky duck. Man Manua? Manua. 
Manua. Now Noah provides fresh coconut water and fruit, cleanse our palates, and it's time to head back to Gargoyle. Hey, Captain Kevin. Good morning. You ready? I'm ready. Where are we going? We are going to what is widely thought to be the most beautiful island in the South Pacific. We are going to Bora Bora. We're just going to release the mooring lines and we're off. Okay, Kevin. Are we off? Yep. Beautiful bay, gorgeous morning. How can Bora Bora be better than this? She is. 